today looking at the new Ruger 9mm LCR. You know, the uh, Ruger's been out with the LCR for a couple of years now. Excellent little revolver. Here's one. This is my 38 Special version. Got a Crimson Trace laser grip on it. By the way, any grip that'll fit the 38 or the 22 or the 22 mag or the 357 will also fit the uh, 9mm version. Now, the 9mm version, like the 357 Magnum version, has got a uh, stainless steel blackened frame on it. It's got a polymer lower control unit, which is the lower grip and trigger guard and all that holds all your, your hammer and the trigger and things like that. And speaking of the trigger, it's like a, like most LCRs or like all of them, it's got a nice smooth trigger pull. Now this one measures right at nine pounds, but it feels like less because the cam design that they've got in there on this trigger system gives a nice smooth trigger pull. This whole tamer grip feels really great in my hands. You know, the finger grooves fit me just right. And it's cushioned really well here on the back. Does not hurt to fire this little gun shooting nine millimeters out of it. Now, a lot of people they, they wonder why a nine millimeter in a revolver, and uh, uh, there's a couple of good reasons. One is ammo is a lot cheaper than buying good 38 special ammunition. You can buy almost two nine millimeters for the what you pay for a 38. But the main advantage is it's a uh, the little cartridges are tapered, they're easy to load, they're short, they're efficient, they fall in there really well, and they hold their velocities really well. And I was surprised when I was chronographing this, I compared the velocities out of this 1.875 inch um, revolver with its uh, 6,000 inch barrel cylinder gap. I thought I'd get a lot lower velocities than I would out of this kel with a 3.1 inch barrel and a uh, closed breech, but I didn't. The average uh, on the uh, most loads average about 20 feet per second difference, a little bit lower for the uh, revolver, but not enough to make any difference. The advantage of having the 9mm is this little revolver uses moon clips. And by doing that, you carry your extra loads already loaded like this. You can throw them in the pocket in the moon clip. They don't take up much room, and it's much faster to load this weapon. You just drop them in there and close it all at once. They eject all at once. You can eject them in the palm of your hand. You're not dumping cartridges out on the ground anywhere. Uh, they come out just like this. The little clips are easy to load and unload. These things are spring steel, spring stainless steel. And the way they've cut these, they're real easy to load and unload, but I've dropped several of them on purpose, and the cartridges do not fall out of them. It holds them together really well, and it's just a wonderful, great way to carry your extra ammunition. Instead of being speed strips or something, these, you can drop three or four of these in your pocket. You don't even know they're there, but when you need them, you pull it out, you drop it in, and it's ready to go. With a little practice, you can get really fast on these things, loading your weapon. Gives you a quick way to reload, and the 9mm has got decent power out of a little gun like this. Recoil is light. Uh, this thing will use plus P ammunition if you want to. Uh, to use any 9mm ammunition, you can use in this little Ruger. Fires it really well. Uh, reliability has been 100%. Had no problem, no detonation problems. No problem with cartridges walking forward. And a lot of times in a revolver like this, if the ammo is not the uh, not, the bullet's not fitted tightly into the case. Under recoil, that bullet will move forward a little bit, or actually the case is recoiling away from it, and it'll walk out and top your gun. I didn't have any situations like that with this little gun. Worked really well, had no problems at all with this little Ruger. Well, functioned perfectly, ejection was perfect. Some logs, some of the plus P uh, stuff, depending on the brand of it, it'll be sticky extraction. I'd have hit this rod and knock them out. Most things, they just fell out. In fact, this cartridge will also fire this revolver. You can fire these cartridges in here uh, singly. You don't have to have the moon clip in it to fire them, but you do to eject them. They won't eject like that. They'll usually fall out, or you can take something and poke them out if they won't come out on their own. But you can fire it without the moon clips. I highly recommend firing it with the moon clips. It, the revolver comes with three moon clips. Uh, MSRP on this gun, as the date of this review, is $599 U.S. The moon clips are $19.95 for three of them. You can get those on shopruger.com. But I recommend the little revolver. I really like it. Uh, I recommend stocking up on eight or ten moon clips, however many you want, and keep uh, two or three loaded in your pocket at any time because the gun you, you're going to fight with is the one you have with you when trouble comes. And most time you're not expecting trouble or you'd either be somewhere else or have a, a shoulder-fired weapon with you or a marine detachment, something like that to take care of you. But you can't always do that. You're going to carry a gun that will fit in your pocket and carry well. And a little gun like this is ideal for that to carry with you. You just load it, stick it in your pocket, drop a couple loaded moon clips in your other pocket, and you got extra ammo to go with you. It's a convenient way to carry it, a quick way to reload, 
Now, you can uh, about the same size, you can carry a semi-automatic, such as this little Kel-Tec, or similar guns, holds you a couple more cartridges, shoots the same ammunition. Uh, and, you know, there's advantages to using a semi-auto like that, but there's also disadvantages. A lot of people can't operate the slide on a semi-auto as well, or a revolver. It's uh, very easy for just about anyone to operate, especially one like this that has such a good trigger pull on it. It's easy to tell when a revolver is loaded. For somebody who's not familiar with it, you swing a cylinder out and it's not going to fire. You don't have to recycle one in the chamber or anything like that. And it uh, makes it easy to use. Another advantage is that a lot of people don't talk about, but it is an advantage. On some places, it's illegal to carry a handgun for defense or for any reason. Uh, that does not mean that you might not need a weapon in that kind of situation. Some place they won't let you carry one, but it's still a dangerous place to go if you have to go. A revolver is not going to leave empty brass laying on the ground with your little fingerprints on it. You know, that might be a problem, might not be a problem, but it's something to think about if you want to keep a, keep a ground clean where you have to fire your weapon. It makes it a lot easier. And these little moon clips make it a handy way to carry the ammunition. You know, with these guns, uh, Ruger just come out with it. I shot one at the factory about two weeks ago. Been shooting this one quite a bit the last couple of days. Good little gun. They're shipping now, they're at distributors now, they're at dealers now. And uh, so check them out at uh, Ruger.com. Don't you gonna point at the steel? No, point at you. We'll hear the steel. Oh, okay. All right. We're hearing a truck. You wanna wait on that? <laughs> 